Hey, thanks for staying in our guest house. Just want to run over a quick how-to for the DVD, TV, and sound bar. These are the two remotes that you'll need. The smaller one goes to the sound bar, and the larger one is for the DVD player and TV. Pretty much everything is going to run through the DVD player. It connects to the Wi-Fi, so you'll be able to access streaming videos of various kinds of music, whatnot. Then I'm going to run over the sound bar just real quick. Uh, it will also do um, Bluetooth, so you can sync it with your phone. And to do that, you're going to turn it on with this left power button here, and you will select this USB Bluetooth input selection. All of these buttons up here, this first row of gray buttons are input selections. So Bluetooth is the USB Bluetooth. You're going to hit it twice. You hit it once, it'll go to USB. You hit it a second time, it'll go to Bluetooth input, and it'll broadcast a signal that you can then search for and sync with your phone and play whatever volume is going to run through this. For both the TV and Bluetooth, you'll, you'll increase the volume. No volume actually comes out of the TV itself. And then to switch it over to play sound coming out of the DVD player or streaming video, you're going to want this optical input, which is the top left gray button. All right. So to turn on the both the TV and DVD player, you just have to turn on the DVD player and it will also turn on the TV. You're just going to hit this left power button on the larger remote. And then I'll show you what it looks like on the screen. All right, this is the screen that you're going to see when you turn the DVD player on. It's going to give you several options. Far left here, if you put a movie in, it's probably going to start playing on a, on its own. If it uh, if it doesn't, you can you know select this play disc. I also have a hard drive hooked up to the DVD player. Let's see, it's thinking. There you go. If you go to this multimedia tab or you know whatever this multi multimedia selection, click that. It's going to go in to the hard drive. You're going to go down to storage. Go to this middle USB option and you're going to go over to movies. It's pretty much where everything is. The movie folder. This is going to have various folders here. A couple of the series, uh, trilogies, whatnot, and then just a ton of movies after that. You see that it's 175 files. So you go through and it should play most of these formats. There might be occasionally a format that the DVD player doesn't recommend or recognize, but you're welcome to check any of those out. Hit exit or return. It'll take you back to this main screen. If you go to over here to Samsung apps, that's going to be where you're going to find your streaming services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Pandora, Hulu, YouTube, whatever, whatever you'd like on there. Uh, and that is about it. So like I said, to, to play anything through, you're always going to want to start with the DVD player. If you want to stream anything, hit optical in on the sound bar, uh, Bluetooth in on the sound bar if you want to sync it with your, your phone and stream some Spotify, which unfortunately the Samsung DVD player does not have an app for, but it has Pandora. And you can also access the hard drive with a bunch of movies on it through the DVD player. To turn the DVD player off, all you do is turn the TV off, which is the top right power button on the remote, on the larger remote. Hit that, it'll turn the TV and the DVD player off, and then top left button is still the power for the sound bar. All right, that's it. Thanks.